Goa <laughs> is the most favorite place to almost everyone. Come on, who don't like Goa? You get almost everything here from sun kissed beaches to water sports, trekking trails, lively nightlife, delicious food. To be honest, I experienced all of them on the very first day here. I have a very long day to go here in Goa, so let's start the day. Right now, I am heading to boating right now and to see something new today. Let's get started. Uh, Monkey Island, sightseeing. After that, you will see a deep sea in the dolphin. Okay. After seeing the dolphin, you will see a butterfly. After seeing the dolphin, you will see a turtle. After seeing the turtle, बाद में हनीमून बीच पे आपको एक दस पंद्रह मिनट उतारेंगे और बाद में खत्म होने के बाद आपको सीधा पल्लम लेके Also one thing that I noticed here in Pullalam Beach, you know what? You also get the sunset, also get the sunrise. So sunrise अंतर है इधर I think on my right side, this side and the sunset अंतर है इधर this side and I experienced both of them yesterday. And the sunrise could not be sunset could I think this is the first time ever that I've seen in the same place experiencing the sunset and the sunrise. Pretty cool, right? The boat is ready. We're getting in. Pretty cool. I think we traveled more than for about like 30-40 minutes. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't keep a track. First, we, you know, we spotted a lot of dolphin. Oh my God! I was literally underestimating the person who said he will show us the dolphin, but I was never thought ki that we will sight a dolphin. But it's just not one. There was so many dolphin which I found. I mean, I never seen a dolphin which is like with the very close your look. And the tumba hatter in the yawatun and dolphin are no daily love. So that was very close by, and we spotted a lot of lot of dolphin at the same time. And later we went to Honeymoon Beach. Honeymoon Beach was like a, it was just like a beach, and we didn't get down over there. And right now we are in the Butterfly Beach. From Honeymoon Beach to Butterfly Beach, it took for about like five ten minutes in the boat. From the uh, Pulalam Beach to the total ride was like close to 45 minutes, I guess. And overall, it's a pretty good experience. And uh, so we here and we didn't since we did not get down in the honeymoon beach and we got down in the butterfly. So everybody having fun and taking pictures and photograph. And I don't want to get inside the water. The water looks so pretty cool. Like it's absolutely in a greenish color. It's look very neat and clean. And uh, all around, it's uh, full of rocks and beautiful sands, and the dogs are playing. Can you see that? You go to sleep, keep up, I shine. You surely get burned if you reach out and touch. My mind is a battle, I'm trying to hide it. Getting these voices inside to stay quiet. Under the bed. 
That was pretty cool ride. I think totally it just took for about like more than one hour, one hour fifteen minutes, and I totally enjoyed it. Just and I nailed it. Like the Titanic boat, tarah munde ognind kono photo ke toh allah tokon didu into wow. That was beautiful. And the one thing that missed it like a turtle nesting anta hai idro, but they showed that only the turtle uh, like shape ali ro uh, stone na matra and the kal na matra tor sudro. So now we back to the nest right now, and I'm planning for like a like a so at this side there is. Uh, a body massage center which is like very next to the room where i stay right now so yesterday i had a foot massage like which was, that was really incredible i enjoyed it and it was so relaxing so now i'm planning for a body massage so probably i'll see you sometime later Twenty five kilometer ahead from Pollalam Beach, and the, this place is known as a, a Bethel Fort, Bethel Fort or Bethel Fort, right? So on the left side, this is absolutely known for this is silvery sand, and also there is a a lilo on the back side of this, and also this looks like a, a small island. And in case if I wanted to go, I will have to sail a boat. Maybe I just have to hire a boat and then. reach that particular place uh so this overall it's a very psychonic view from here and i could take a complete this is something called a sail river um uh, and uh, i just walked all the way there there's a temple which is like a kalish kanishwar andre idu local betel village betel fort antandre this is because of named after this village like a betel village ante heli right side alli ide there is a untold story about the betel fort This is a historic 17th century fort. It said that it was built by an associate of Shivaji. And the view from this fort is phenomenal. And also it's so lovely to see a river meeting the ocean from above. We're on the way to Kabudi Rama Fort, and I just thought that I was super starving, and I just wanted to grab some snacks. I did not eat anything in the morning, and uh, I was starving. So we had a plan of heading to uh, uh, there is a place called uh, a Cape Goa, which is like a very good restaurant here in near the South Goa. I just wanted to go and try some food over there because it's gonna it is an European style uh, restaurant, is what I heard it. I don't know how true it is, but. Uh, We wanted to make it there for our lunch, but uh, it didn't happen because we've been spending a lot of time on the road. And uh, so while on the way to Kabodi Rama Fort, I just thought to okay, uh, have some um, maybe snacks. But I found out hey, there is a full meal right here. So there was a restaurant, like a small hut house. Uh, while going to the Kabodi Rama, I just thought to okay, okay, let's know why not. I I can't. I don't think so. I could make it to Cape Goa. So the meal is looks very yummy, and we got a rice, and there's a fish. It's a bangda fish, and there is a uh, what do you call this? This is kukum water. This was actually I tried it yesterday, and um, it was really sweet and very nice. Mmm, it's sort of a sour taste, and um, the sambar, and there's a gravy, the fish gravy, and there is one more um, uh, like a side dish kind. So it, this is very basic, but um, and very yummy because I've already tasted it. <laughs> I just emptied all my food. It is because the food was really great. Radha General Store, बहुत आकाना बहुत अच्छा था. So वो कैसे चल रहा है business? वो बहुत. Indian आ रहा है इसमें मतलब. Foreigners कुछ नहीं है. कुछ नहीं है. लेकिन अपना इंडियन तो है अभी तो पता नहीं है न्यूज में कुछ कुछ दिखाता है हाँ हाँ ओमिक्रॉन का लॉकडाउन भी बात हो रहा है 
अभी अपना गोवा में तो पॉलिटिशियन है आगे ये इलेक्शन है आगे फेब्रुआरी में उसके बाद में डिसीजन पता नहीं लॉकडाउन होता है वापस या ओपन खुला छोड़ता है ओके ओके अभी भी फिलहाल अपना इंडियन के लिए अभी तो कुछ इधर ये नहीं है ओके ठीक है उतना कोरोना का कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इतना वी हेडिंग टू कम्बोडी रामा फोर्ट विच इज लाइक आफ्टर दी लंच Uh, after the lunch and the hell I think I felt ki I just made this video wait is because you know I mean I know I don't know how helpful it's going to be you know in case if you are going on the way to the Kaburi Rama I think you know a small stop over and they'll have a taste of a local food I think that'll be the great and uh, so yes I don't know how long this Kaburi Rama is going to be it's already 4 o'clock and we had a lot of we also thought of going to Kola Beach in the Kola Beach hill uh, cliff So the, that was the plan, but I don't know. It's already since it's already late. I don't think so we can make it. So I'll keep you posted and stay tuned till the end. So actually, as you get inside the Kabodi Rama, this is uh, completely covered with a lot of green trees and trees in and around. I think that's why uh, this place it makes even more interesting. It's filled with a lot of greens, and uh, so what do you see right behind is the Kabodi Rama beach, and I have the beautiful, heavenly view from right here. I'm just standing right here. <laughs> um, Let me tell you one thing: this scene leaves many tourists speechless, including me. and uh, it is a breathtaking arabian sea view surrounded by a tall coconut trees and i feel this beach is so perfect see kabodi rama being this is very one of the very important place but uh, not many people know about this place i don't think so much of a traveler that you can see in and around but this is equally important what you see in the palalam beach or any other place like us in south goa i was just talking to the locals and the one more thing that i really have to update you so you wouldn't be finding a lot of mobile network here the available network is only vodafone and jio so those are like 100% network that you would get it other than this in case if you using any other network and i'm so sorry it absolutely no service See that's the entrance and that's where the fort is located and we'll have to go out and then maybe climb that maybe climb somewhere to get to that fort So if you could see this is too much of sunny right now I think this must be the way Do you think it's the way? Hmm. Not a lot of it. Oh can you see that that see uh, what I felt ki this is completely the fort ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಆ ಗೇಟ್ಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ವಾಲ್ಸ್ಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅ ವಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಆ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ and i have another beautiful beach view from here and it is heavenly beautiful i mean uh, there was a there was a two view on the both the side as you enter and you will have on the left side and you will have one view on the right side and this is one of the view that i have is extremely good and this is so photographable like i clicked so many photos and i recorded so many things i mean this is absolutely stunning I think uh, driving from um, Pulalam beach it's uh, close to 25 uh, km I think it's totally worth it. So this is another of the places which you don't see or uh, you don't see a lot of travelers or the tourist at this point like in this place. So uh, visiting here it's totally worth it. the last destination for the day and another beautiful off the places in south goa 
This is a, this is known as a Kola South Parking. So actually, Kola South Parking anta haak takshana na Google eli. This is the exact location that you would get it. And uh, not many traveler would know about this place. I don't even know. I don't even think the local also know about this because we did ask the local people while we actually crossing this road. But uh, I don't think so. Nobody would know about this. But wow, look at this view it is so amazing i am so amused with this total view right now i think sulpa inna sulpa late agi sunrise sunset anto beautiful agi sigate i don't even think that you would get a sunset like this anywhere <laughs> i think this is one of the best sunset that you could catch it in goa is there anything more peaceful than taking in the quiet beauty of setting sun creating romantic shades of red orange across the sky i think the world has a chance to breathe in and rejuvenate while sunsets are literally end of a day they also become symbol of peace and also it is a reminder to rest and reset our hearts and minds at the end of each and every day So finally I reached my room. Oh my god, that was so a long tiring day. And the last place that I visited, it was like a breathtaking view. Wow. Um, so I'm not even getting much anything with that. So I'm not sure. I might have told you in the the first video, I have also carried a toaster to make a bread and omelette and toast together. So so with this actually in Anbelange, we I just got the kingfish. For about like 200, 250 bucks, K, I just got the kingfish and the bagda fish who came nearby to my room. Uh, so with this toaster, actually, I'm gonna be preparing a fish right now. So let me turn this and then show you this yummy fish that I'm gonna be preparing right now. All right. <laughs> Finally, it is ready, and it just took some time because it's a grill, then it's a toaster. It took a lot of time. So anyway, you know what I did? I just mixed it with the little um, what do you call that? Chili powder with the salt, and I mixed it with the uh, this fish, the raw fish, and then put it in the grill. That's what I did, and it is so yummy. Mmm. This is so good. <laughs> so anyway, it's time to say goodbye to you for today's video. Let's catch up tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like it, and share it with all your friends. And do let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.